Today I'm going to show you how to make your own RuneScape private server. What you're going to need is a source and a client and some you will require a cache or cache however you say it and yeah that's pretty much it and if you don't have any of those things there will be a link in the description so you can download the ones that I use for yourself. So yeah, I'm going to open these up and extract them to my desktop. So first what you're going to do is you're going to drag your cache into your C users and then your name. Um, so if you open it up and there's only one file in here, you're going to drag that file. But if it's just a bunch of files like this, you're just going to go back and drag the whole RAR file into your user. And that should be complete, so I can close off that. So once you've dragged those onto your desktop, you're going to open both of them. Let me just minimize this a little bit so it isn't in the way. And then you're going to have a client and a source. The next thing you're going to need is Eclipse. And you can get any version of Eclipse you want. I personally use Eclipse, Eclipse Java Neon, which is really simple. If you don't know how to get that, I'll put a download link in the description. So you can just download that and run it up. So I'm going to run. Oh crap, I got air. Hold on. All right, so I'm just going to run it from here. What in the world? Okay, I finally got it to work. I accidentally deleted one of the files. So I'm running Eclipse Neon right now. It's pretty cool. So I gotta wait for that to open up. Oh yeah, and then I'll tell you to select a directory as workplace. Just keep that normal and click OK. Alright, so it is finally opened. And now what you're going to do is inside of here, this is gonna look a little bit crazy. Trust me, it's not that difficult. Just go to File, New, and then Java Project. Simple as that. You're going to go to Project Name, and you're going to type in Source. Use Default Location, untick that, click Browse, and go to your Source. And then click OK, and then Finish. OK, so once that's done, you're going to open up the Source, and you're going to see all these files. You're going to ignore all these for now. You're going to right-click the Source. You're going to click Run As Java Application. And you're going to scroll down until you see something called main, like this, or server. If you see server, then run the server. And then click OK. If you get an error with running the server, what you're going to do is you're going to have to reopen, run with, wait, run configuration, yeah, arguments. And then you're going to type in true, true, false, apply, then run and then rerun the server. After you've opened up the server, it should be good to go. Then you can open up the client and run it from there. If you get an error, this always happens with clients, you're going to right click and click edit. Now, it's see this Java right here, bad. Go to your Java, which should be in your program files or programs 86, depending on where you installed it. So I installed it into program files, so I'm going to select Java, bin. I'm going to click up here, I'm going to copy that, and then paste that where this old version is, just like that, and then click save. Now I should open up my client again, and it should be able to run. Just like that. And after it's opened, you just type in a username and password and click enter. And just like that, you are in your RuneScape private server, and yeah, that's about it for this one. Any questions, please leave it in the comments, and thank you for watching.